up, y'all? This is Bear13 here with... You already suck. <laughs> oh, you suck harder. <laughs> well, Ronnie, okay. you host it. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Um, welcome to the S2K show. This is Ron Moore along with, well, you already know by now. And this podcast is about emulators and ROMs. Are they wrong? Are they really illegal to use? And are we going to hell if we use them? Now, um, uh, so, I mean, I, you know, it's no big secret that I use emulators and ROMs all the time. Now, no. I only review 8 to 16-bit games, which are not being sold in stores anymore. And the only profit that's probably being made off of them is, I guess, they're on the virtual console. But it's not to where Nintendo is making a huge profit off of it to where if we download ROMs from these ROM sites like ROMNation.com or TheOldComputer.com or whatever, then Nintendo's losing a major profit. Now, if we were to pirate Mega Man 9 or 10 from Capcom or whatever, that's where you know those companies could take a hit because those are games that have just been released and are making big profit. And... Um, so that's where, you know, I guess maybe there's a gray area in all this um, to where they're using emulators is wrong and there's a lot of console fanboys out there. So uh, we're here to debate that or uh, maybe all three of us might agree with each other on this. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and give it to the uh, person that likes to talk the most. Bear 13, yeah. go ahead. All right, I'd like, thank you, Bear. It, I'd, like, I'd like to pass it over to the J Man, J Man four sixty for one. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, you're good at getting the, you're good at uh, stirring the pot. Yeah, Come on, J Man, don't be all shy. Right. Let me don't, let me get J-Man, my big don't, don't. Uh, wooden spoon from like seventeen thirty six, and let's stir this big pot that. here. All right. Don't uh, be shy, J Man. Come on, open up. Okay, I'm gonna open up for everyone out here. Your mother, who loves let's, you. Um, let's discuss things. Let's pass the torch to each other and talk about our personal feelings. Okay, anyways. Blah. Yeah. Blah. Fuck you, wee guy. Ah. Fuck you, too. Oh, wait. Oh. Now, um, oh, like, wait. like Ronnie said at the beginning, um, I absolutely agree with all that. I pretty much do the same thing. 8-bit, 16-bit stuff that came out 20 years ago. Nobody's really making money off of it. I think that it's not a big deal to use ROMs. It's e- easier for a lot of people that don't have the consoles to just show games to other people that might not have heard heard of the games before. They might be younger, or they might have just that game might have passed them by, you know, in their youth. So it's it's good to share stuff like that. Now at the same time, I think that's actually good for companies because you're getting the word out there. So they might hear of a game, and they're like, "Oh, this game's made by whoever." And then they might want to go out and check out other games, newer games, by whoever, if they're still around. And that might actually uh, get that person to buy a game from that company. So that just got them a sale. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Uh, Sammy got me to buy Survival Arts, the, the actual arcade cabinet. There you go. Perfect example. That game is just over-the-top awesomeness. I mean I fail. Like playing, in a sense. I like playing with Janders, Garbage Man, and... Uh, fake Dick Vitale and Hayden Fox. Oh, and uh, Richard Simmons. Yeah, he's, he's oh, Richard Simmons. Awesome. That's what sold. That's what sold the game right there. Now, now speaking of arcade, I want to talk about Main. Now, I, I do a, a few Main games from time to time, and some of those sites, like you said before, RomNation.net, sites like that. Uh, a lot of their downloads for for Main have been blocked by this thing called I think it's like ESRA. It's something like that. And they're, they're blocking some of these games from being downloaded because, I guess, some of these companies are getting pissed off or somebody's getting pissed off, they're getting butthurt about it, and they're like, how dare you download this game that came out 20 years ago? How dare you? We're not making any money off of it, but we just don't want you to download it. So there's this game called Sunset Riders. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of it. Oh, yeah, Moon, moon, moon Set. Uh, it's over. Make a joke. It's, Never it's mind. over. We we yeah, we Love played that, that one out. Um, <laughs> I, I suggest I, 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 I'd like to uh, suggest that everybody plays the hell out of Sunset Riders. Play that game out. It's a great game, even on the Super Nintendo. Um, but I I wanted to get that game for Mame and play it on my channel. 
you know, like that. The the Super Nintendo version, it's it's okay, but it's just not near as good. So I went, yeah, it it definitely is. I went through a laundry list of details to be able to get that game uh, for the uh, correct MAME emulator that I have, and it was a huge pain in the ass, and it really shouldn't have been that difficult. Now, here's the, the funny thing about this is that if you have, like, a really, really old version of MAME, it'll play any game. If you can get access to that game, it'll play any game. But if you have a newer version, some of the games will not play unless you find, like, these certain BIOSes and just just bullshit. I mean, it's just extra bullshit because you look back to that first, you know, some of the first MAME emulators, it played everything. So why is it such a hassle now? Apparently, it'll people even... are getting upset and... I mean, it's ridiculous. These games came out so long ago. They should they should be free for the public to enjoy and you know reminisce upon and and show to other people. Well, you don't understand, Jay. Man, we gotta wait seventy five years for it to be public domain. Oh, that's right. Yeah. See, you know. Oh man. I, I sure enjoy. <laughs> the Gunstar uh, Hero there for a minute. We're almost gonna. We're almost gonna like legally get to play Pong. God, I can't wait for that. It's gonna be so epic. <laughs> You know, come on. But you can oh, yeah. even... it'll, it'll be the greatest single human achievement ever. Yep. Waiting 75 years to finally legally play Pong. The world will stand still for like five seconds. It's going to be beautiful. Five years. It's going to be beautiful. Then we can legally do Let's Play videos of Pong. Yeah. Ooh. What about Bong? <laughs> oh, no, okay. I, um, I play that game all the time. Easy now, Bongy boy. <laughs> Who? Bong Ron. boy, you, Ronnie. Bong buddy? Bong boy. Bong, oh, bong, uh, bong boy. mower. How about, <laughs> how about bong, bong man? Boy. How about bong man and Mega Man 11? Sweet. Uh, there you go. Couldn't be, couldn't be any worse than the uh, ones they have right now. Sheep man. Sheep man. <clears throat> that's, yeah, that's terrible. Glue man? That woman. Oh. Bear man. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who woman? Uh, no, that woman. woman. Not a, yeah, Splash woman. That was, in ten, that was a nine. That's Make Man Nine, you yeah. noob. No, um. So. Well, uh, this probably <laughs> it was. Was it still a shitty name? Of course. Yeah. Well, well I mean, you I know, know. You know they, they made like thirty Mega Man, so you got to run out of names eventually. But well, we want to call it Wet Woman, Cheap Man. Uh, Ooh. Um, <laughs> another man. thing about Mega Man Ten, I, I don't know if this like pertains to this podcast or not. It's probably not, but anyway. Who cares? Uh, yeah, exactly. I downloaded. Right. A, um, a demo of Mega Man 10 on to my PS3. It was like 145 megabytes. Like what? It's a it's an eight big eight big game. Why is it 144 megabytes? So I get on there and all it has it has like the little beginning story, and it has one stage and that's Strike Man and you only get to play like half of the stage, and then it takes you back to the main menu. Oh bullshit. Yeah I know. Well I mean okay. You want you know they want people to get the game. I can understand that, but why does that take up 145 megabytes? Because it's called Mega Man. He wants to take up as many megabytes as it possible. It should take up 10 <laughs> megabytes. Mega Man 10 megabytes. How about eight megabytes? Eight bit? Huh? <laughs> get it? No. <laughs> you shut your mouth and stand in the corner like you usually do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Anyway, what were you saying, J Man, about whatever? Oh, uh, I was uh, pretty much done with all that. Uh, I guess we could change the topic a little bit and talk about the virtual console. VC, yeah. where you can, if anybody doesn't know, or they've been, you know, wait, well, wait on the Pong release, right. you know, the seventy-five. <laughs> um, on the virtual actually, console, uh, you can download old Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Turbo Graphics sixteen, Nintendo sixty-four. And a couple other consoles, you can download some select classics it's a pri- it's at a price. Or a million, Commodore 64. Yeah, whatever. Commodore 64. For a million Wii points, well, you can download. It's... For a million Wii points, you can download Tattoo Assassins. Wait, wait, wait. That should, no, that should be for, well, for two hundred Wii points. You can download Action Fifty Two. For two million, you can download your mom. <laughs> oh yeah, well, for one million, you can. Well, for, shut up. I think Nintendo should give you Wii points if you download Action 52. Yeah, yeah. we will give you 500 Wii points if you download this damn game. 
reimburse you. Probably, yeah, probably people will be like, nope, I don't want it. It's cool. I don't want the I don't want the Wii points. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> 52, you don't 52 want to play points. Yeah, yeah. For action 52. You don't want to play Cheetah Man? Two? What about Cheetah Women? Oh, meow. 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 Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, I'm seeing J-Man's uh, picture on Skype, the fire cat. Laser uh, cat. Thing. It may, laser yeah, cat. Laser cat. Laser cat. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's actually Dr. Claw's cat. Yeah. From... Uh, <laughs> It's uh the the cat from uh the Smurfs, Gargamel's cat. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Azrael, that's the name of the cat. Azrael. That wasn't a Smurf. That was Doctor. No, there was a cat on the Smurfs. Gargamel had a cat. Azrael. Okay. Can't believe I remember I that, but I remember. Yeah, yeah, that's about Smurfs. I liked the Smurfs when I was a kid. Now you know, I was <laughs> in not, like nineteen eighty five, but I, I, I like that show. How the hell we go from this to Smurf? Because it's it's yeah, Smurf and Gray. There's a 2K show. We go from talking about emulators to Smurfs. It was the cat. <laughs> Damn cat! Don't uh, sure. don't download the cat. It's illegal. You know I'm straight up downloading the cat. Downloading your mom. <laughs> you got to download a fist if you don't shut up. Oh. Okay. Um. All right, so anyway. J man about download to boot up your ass. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna boot up my computer and and uh, shut up. <laughs> Good boy. Ron. Good boy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, go ahead and J man continue on about the virtual console. Well, uh, I, I kind of uh, spoken a bit of my piece. Uh, I guess the last thing that I want to say about that is. Um, I, I think some of the games cost too much. You know, like Super Mario Brothers. For the Nintendo, who wants to spend five bucks on that? That's ridiculous. It's too much. I would. Um, I bought it for good for you at a used game store. Well, good, you good get, for you. You fun. get, but you get Doctor Jekyll, and Mister Hyde for eighty nine cents. <laughs> oh, sweet! You can get your mom for even less. I just, I, I really think it's ridiculous. <laughs> now, um, maybe a thousand Wii points for some of the Nintendo 64 games that they have on there. I can understand that. And that's cool. You know, it's more recent. It's a bigger game. You can do a lot more. But like the Nintendo games and the TurboGrafx 16s and the, uh, the Sega Genesis games, they just, they're, they cost too much. It's, it's, it's too much. Okay. This as, as, video, uh, as, as well as the, uh, the, the cost of import games. It's like a uh, 120 for, uh, Japanese uh, N64 game. Yeah, when you can just get Project 64 and play it on your computer for free. And have a wider selection. Yeah, but apparently that's amoral or immoral. Something like that. Amoral. It doesn't matter to me because still, even with 64, it's older games. And, you know, they, they already made their damn money. And, I mean, it's it's something that people love. And other people, like like on sites like YouTube, other people want to see these games. And not, you know, there's a lot of people on True YouTube, that. but not every game has been showed on YouTube. Not even close. Oh. Well, um, I think this podcast has been one star because you said uh, TurboGrafx-16 is uh, too expensive, and I think Star Soldier is not going to like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Star Soldier can suck it up. <laughs> what do you say, Jay? Yeah, these guys suck. Yeah, I know they're talking about these emulators. They're, they give them 10 out of 100. Ten out of a billion. <laughs> I, I ten. Why does it always have to be ten? Well, because I said so. Oh, no, your mom Jay said so. so. Enough with your mom. Okay, your dad. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the hell that means. Okay. Moving anyway. On. <laughs> and I remember before I finally figured out how to review, record with Cam Studio and record from my emulator off my computer. Um. I was using the webcam. If you go back to one of my first reviews on YouTube with my friends, the low budget review series would put a freaking webcam in front of a television. Surprised now it hasn't been retroprayed. It's yeah, it <laughs> should be. And there's been worse videos than that, but they've been taken down because that's how atrocious they were. But I keep the old ones up now to this day, like the ones like Rampage, Low Budget Review and Double Dragon the Arcade Port that uh we recorded off Venom's Xbox three sixty. We had Double Dragon on there. Um it, those are up because, you know, Venom and The Unknown and everybody else in the low-budget review cast, they want to watch those for old time's sake. But 
we can all agree that you know the quality. I mean, webcam reviews on YouTube, unless you have like an HD TV or a good camera like Star Soldier has, um, it's it's hard to like get good quality reviews. Or unless you have a capture card, of course. But see, not everybody has a capture card, or can get a hold of one, or a DVD recorder, or whatever. It's so much trouble. It seems like to maybe get those when you can download Cam Studio or Camtasia or whatever for free, get the emulator and the ROM for free, and then use that to record footage and an LP and review on YouTube. So I, I absolutely agree. Um, and okay, when it when it comes to like newer games, I think that those should be played on consoles. Because they're newer games, there's you know, still money being made off of games like that. If you're playing a newer game, you need to go out and buy it. You don't need it. Right. You don't need to get it off the internet. Go out and buy it because it's right. still I making mean, money. It's recent, and that's the way that you know our capitalist system is supposed to work. And it's a good system. But exactly. just 20 years yeah. ago, it was like, come on. Oh wait, I better come I better on. buy Super Mario Brothers before I put it on YouTube. Come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, so, you know. I, it would be hard to, if you know, there were no emulators or ROMs. We have to go through the trouble of, you know, let's say, oh, man, I want to review Mega Man 4, but I don't have it. Um, okay, let me go shopping at Walmart. Um, or, for <laughs> example. Throw down 60 bucks. Uh, well, I say Walmart 4. That's old. Okay. GameStop. I'm thinking of Clement J., the guy that been doing the Mega Man LP. Uh, and yes. Sonic LP. He had to go to Walmart and out of town somewhere. And try to look for Mega Man X8, which I don't think you ever found. And, you know, it would be so much trouble to go out look for the game, then plus the, the system if you don't have it, and then get a DVD recorder or a capture card when for review purposes or whatever. Or, but, I mean, you can just use the emulator, or download from the emulator site, and download the ROM from the same site or whatever. Use Camp Studio, record, and there you go. And don't make it harder than it already is. So, I mean... Think about think what you want about me or anybody else who uses emulators. Um, you know, I I use emulators for my own reasons because you know I'm not going to go out and make it harder for me to just to make a simple LP or less checkout video. You know, so I mean I don't see nothing wrong with using emulators and ROMs. I mean as long as you don't download a PS3 ROM or or Dante's Inferno ROM on your computer and pirate it or whatever, then that's where it becomes wrong. Not games that are 20 something years old i mean so there yeah, there you go that's my 10 cents absolutely um i, I just want to um, add this in now doesn't matter what what game you play you're going to get you're going to get the most out of it on a console it's going to play the best you know emulators are just they're emulated it's it's not an exact copy of a game so you're going to oh, you're yeah. always going to have better controls on a console you're going to have a better gameplay experience, but once again, it goes back to the 20-year-old thing. Of, yeah. you, there's Most games, you're not going to have that much of a difference, but still. Older games, why go out and spend a bunch of money? You know, nowadays, since the nerds come out and, and all that, you know, Nintendo's and Nintendo games have gotten a little more expensive than they used to be. You know, yep. like in, in 2004... I bought a lot on eBay. Uh, two Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Um, it only had one controller and hookups for one of the Nintendos, and then it just had another Nintendo with it, which I didn't, you know, it was like, okay, whatever. It was in a lot. And then it had like 40 games. 60 bucks. With like $10 shipping and handling. So 70 bucks for like You'll 40 games. And two Nintendos, which is basically one Nintendo. Nowadays, um, I, I went to a, a pawn shop like a year ago and just seen one Nintendo with two controllers. It came with uh, Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, and it had the you know the hookups, the AC adapter, and the RF unit. Forty-five dollars. That's ridiculous. Um, I think I seen still- on Yahoo News a while, a while back. There's a rare. NES cartridge that somebody on eBay actually paid, I think, about forty thousand dollars for. I think it was ten thousand. Oh, yeah. That, that was the Nintendo yeah. World Championship. Yes, that game. Yeah, I think it went yeah. for ten thousand. I'm not sure. And it was a gold cartridge. Yes. Yeah, like yes, one that five one. or something. 
uh, uh, this person was a game collector and wanted it real bad, and so, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 there goes another uh, mortgage on the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> and I think the game didn't uh, even work correctly. Like it didn't, it didn't work correctly all the time. <laughs> I don't it's, think that person cared. He just he or she wanted to just collect it because they were collecting. Yeah, it's probably sitting in a, in a glass case or something somewhere. Well, yeah. that and it's af- after uh, you know there's the uh, people who um, reproduce them. Like the I think there's one place where you can pay like fifty bucks and get like a reproduction of the uh, the cartridge. So maybe uh, maybe that's one way of uh, paying off the. New mortgage. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah, I would like to get my hands on the Drax Not Out for the NES, which is a rare <laughs> reproduction cartridge that ABGN did a quick review of in his uh, Halloween special back in I think 2008. But Dracula. Now, however, according to him, the game was never released. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I think even he played that on a ROM. <laughs> yeah, I tried to download it from a ROM site and I couldn't find I it. I have it. I guess I, mean, I have it. I've, I've played it. Quite a bit. Okay. Sucks. Also music. God, it sucks. It's also music, though. Oh, you think Come every on. game has awesome music, Mr. Crash Dummy? <laughs> Not every, but it does. It does. And you're just... G.R. Folin fanboy. Tim Folin and Sunsoft and David Smart. David Wise David rules. Smart. David Wise rules. Yeah, David Wise. Speaking of Wise, um, oh, I couldn't think of a good segue. Um, Stupid. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, now, if I, you know, 99% of my videos on YouTube with video, video game footage is emulators. The only ones that are not emulators is the Street Fighter 4 review, low budget review, Skip Rogers versus Raw Moore, SmackDown versus Raw Match, and me and Swindoll's Capcom versus SNK 2 battle that was recorded throughout television. Now, but for, for the rest of my videos, you know, let's say, you know, I, I Let's check out, I don't know, a random video. Uh, let's check out Solstice video. You know, now someone asked me in the comments section or PM, oh, so, you know, how'd you record this? And if I lied to them and said, you know, um, I, I played on the console, and then they go buy it, and then for whatever reason, it does not look the same as it did in the video and, like, or whatever, and they're not going to understand them getting mad, um, you know, about me lying to them about that. You know, I, I think that was something a while back that, um, I think Charlie and Gaming Palooza got into to where uh you know, mate, I wish you would have told me it was uh emulator or something. And uh, now I can understand people get like mad at me for lying to them and saying, Oh yeah, this is a console just to look cool or whatever you know. Like, yeah, I played on a real console, but now I can understand if people got mad at me for lying to them, but if people's gonna get mad at me or anybody else just for using the emulator for the sake of reviewing or whatever, then you know, s- stop being butthurt and get over it. I mean, to me, nothing wrong with that. We need to mellow out. There's yeah. A, uh, more important shit going on. Yeah, Gaming Goose. Oh. You, you remember that oh. video, don't you, Ronnie? Yeah. He, I was he like, kinda, okay, what Yeah, he kind of just bashed anybody that used the emulator. Now, he he did make a good point, like I said before, that you're going to get the best experience on a console, but still just to bash people because they use ROMs. I mean, you know, technically yeah. it is illegal. Um, now, the, the, the rules, I understood it. This is a few years ago. It's probably the same now, but uh, to download a ROM, you can only have it for 24 hours if you did not own the actual cartridge, and then you're supposed to delete it. I believe that was yeah, the actual I that's behind it. But what? you know, I, I don't see the internet police, you know, knocking, you know, breaking anybody's door down anytime soon. No, I think right after seeing this. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we just this. opened the floodgates all over. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna track us down. They're gonna track us down, and um, so by by the time we listen to this podcast, people, us four, well, I don't think Bear does any videos on YouTube. Us three, me, we got J Man, will be arrested, and uh, that's why you won't see any videos or LPs for a while on the channels. So uh, I won't get arrested. I'm a minor. It should, clear, it should be clear. It should be clear. I think I speak for everybody in this podcast when I say we're not condoning piracy at all. I am. <laughs> Okay, there is, but um, I mean, so you know, we're not condoning piracy or anything. And to me, it, it should not be illegal at all to download ROMs that are 20 years old. It to me, it's not piracy. I don't care what anybody says or anybody thinks. Now, I agree that you're gonna get the full 
best experience on a console. Yeah, I agree with that. But again, I'm not going to go through the trouble of buying some game, getting a capture card, DVD recorder, encode the video into Movie Maker, and or whatever video soft editing software. And then you know, um, YouTube is supposed to be fun, not to where it's freaking hard work, to where it's going to, um, you know, you have to go through hell to upload a video of a video game review. I mean, so you know, thank God for Cam Studio, Camtasia. So if you don't like that, we got two words for you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, suck it. Yeah. Suck it. Um. And, um, suck it. and there, there's a lot of emulators out there that uh, record themselves. You know, so you can you can play uh-huh. the game and, and record, record yourself. Record Challenge. the movie while you're while you're playing it, and then uh, replay it and record it into AVI, and then uh, take it to whatever format, MP4, WM, WMV, whatever, and put it on YouTube instead of having to use that screen capture. Which yep. doesn't work so well for everybody. By the so, way, Jim, where's my capture card? Where's my capture card, Jim? <clears throat> <laughs> anyway. Never going to get it, never going to get it. Never going to get it up. Wait. <laughs> no. I think Don't we've, uh, roll this podcast. Well, no, I think we've not again. Ca- well, I think we've uh, captured a card the hearts of our subscribers who listen to this. Oh, that was yeah. the worst pun. Uh, well, see, no, on. we haven't captured. Stop criticizing yourself. We haven't captured their hearts because we're going to upload this, and then it's it's not going to be public for like three hours after it's uploaded. So, oh yeah, a little yeah. Let's do a before we um, end the podcast. Do a little extension of our last podcast. Uh, some some more <laughs> stuckage has occurred here lately on YouTube. Yes. And uh, it happens to random channels. Like, what happened was with me when I uploaded, some of you got was being spammed with bullet, spammed with bulletins from me um, about my Mega Man Four LP. You know, when you, if you click on it in the subscription box, it tells you the video is private. How can you click on a video that's in the subscription box and then it says it's private? That's just like getting your hopes up. Logical. I mean, yeah, it's. Stupid, and I checked it. It said it's public, it's live, and for some reason, it took two or three hours for uh, you know certain people to see it, but other people can already see it. And so, those of you who tried to li- uh, watch the uh, podcast, te- the the YouTube, uh, the last po- whatever the last podcast is called, if you try to watch the teaser, you couldn't see it. This video is private when it wasn't. Right. So it's again YouTube. Uh, Failed big time again. I don't know how how much rock worse they can get in 2010, 2009. You thought they hit rock bottom. Uh, I don't I, I I don't know what to expect yeah. next in 2010. The ground's the limit. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they go underground, yeah. <laughs> they can go to hell and then through hell and then even it. lower than hell. Yeah. yeah, come out the other side of the world in, in China or something. In Antarctica. You got you two got pissed off ass. after we did the podcast. You two got a hold of YouTube intelligence, Google intelligence got a hold of the fact that we did a podcast making fun of them. So they got pissed and decided to screw uh, everybody over and make things worse. It was, it was probably yeah. the, the picture that I selected. But yeah, you, that and Kurt, and Kurt Angle flagged the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, now, now, speaking about the podcast, um, I made a, a slight boo-boo in, in, for anybody that listened to the, the whole podcast. Now, I, I said with the, uh, with, with the new watch page, your playlist would uh, automatically play on your channel, which is false. The uh, playlist that I had on my channel um, that I tried out after I got the new watch, watch page, all the videos on there were marked for third-party content, so they had a, a ad in them, and also they automatically autoplayed. So that's why that, that playlist autoplayed. I tried out my other playlist, mm-hmm. and they don't autoplay. So, yeah. Yeah, well, we Still don't auto play that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, 1993 reference. <laughs> <laughs> Homie, don't play that. Yeah. We don't kid and play that. There you go. <laughs> this ain't on. no house party. <laughs> shut up, Bear. Oh, oh you shut cool. up. Hey, you know what, Bear? To Bear's credit, he's actually talked a lot in this podcast. We got you haven't hardly said anything. Yeah, you become the new you're bear not even, asshole. You're not, even, you're not even giving yeah. me anything to speak about. Oh, we like, talked about the Wii. <laughs> we talked about the Wii. <laughs> yeah, the Wii. Ah. <laughs> I thought this was going to be emulates and ROMs and old school stuff. I think Wii guys lost his edge here. 
Well, maybe think, he wants to he's finally he's taking on drugs. <laughs> I think he's finally taking Ridley now. He's, I think his parents are forcing him to take Ridley, and he's just not the hyper star soldier self anymore. Prozac. Riddle me this. Uh, you can always thr- flush those down the toilet. Take Prozac. Pro- yeah. Prozac, whatever you white boys take when you get depressed. You make the fish high or anti-depressed or whatever. <laughs> I want to see why you're so depressed about, hey, you're white, smile. No. <laughs> <sighs> Points for reference, but points for reference. Well, still, I'm awesome. Bear's not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, tonight he was awesome. I think he pwned you tonight, and uh, as far no, as no, we can say the most words. Who the fuck cares? I do. Fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. We care. And as I go... Uh, we as care! I go to fuck myself. Ew. <laughs> and I guess, let's end the podcast Gosh. now before it gets any uh, nastier. Yeah. We're All right, lucky. so... I guess that is it. Um, all right, so until next time, I'm Ron Moore. And this is, this is the J-Man, J-Man46241. No jokes. No jokes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Damn it. All right. See y'all next time. See ya. Later on. Oh, boy.